Hey everyone, I got a really good haul video I want to show you guys today. Went to a book sale recently and got a whole bunch of really high quality books that are going to be some excellent profit. And I just want to show you guys some of the books that I got, uh, just to give you an idea, because some of these are worth over $100, and it's just really cool when you find these. It's kind of rare, but uh, it just goes to show there is some treasure out there to be found in the book section. Alright, so just to start off, there's this one. It's called A Wonderful Time by Slim Aarons, and this book... I found it, it was only a dollar, and it's probably going to go for about two fifty somewhere around there. If you look inside, um, this is a really interesting book, so that's certainly a book to look for. I've actually sold this book in the past before for over $150 in a little bit worse condition, so this was an awesome score. Here's another really great book I found. It's called Emerald Gems, The Links of Ireland. Uh, photographs by Lawrence Casey Lambrick. So... This is a really awesome book. Uh, you know, two dollars. It should be worth about one hundred twenty-five dollars. So that was a really good score. And the thing is, you know, some of these big books, they can be really profitable. I mean, most of the time, it's more about when I sell books, it's more about the ones that are like twenty dollars, thirty dollars, forty dollars, and they just kind of add up. But whenever you find one of these big bombers like this, I mean, I'll take them when I can get them. You know, another really interesting book I found uh, was this one, Gowns by Adrian. And it says the MGM years 1928 to 1941. And it just shows some really interesting, detailed pictures and descriptions. Um, as you can see, the only thing is that this book is kind of in rough shape. Um, if it was in better condition, I'd be talking about over $150 probably. Uh, but this is X Library, and it's, uh, it's in the Mylar, and it's got some damage in it. But I think I should still be able to get 75 out of this one, which is, you know, another excellent score. Uh, should be some excellent profit in that. This next one's kind of big, uh, really a heavy book. It's a little bit of a slow seller, but I think I should be able to get about 50 bucks for it. It's the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum Milestones of Aviation. And it's just, you know, tons of really good pictures, lots of descriptions. Really just an awesome book. Another really strange book I got, and this is a little bit smaller. Uh, it's called Hallucinations. It says, uh, it says, being an account of a life and adventures of Friar Servando Teresa de Mir. And this is a first edition. It's from the 70s. Just really a weird book. And I know they say that you can't really judge a book by its cover, but in some cases I think you can because that's kind of what attracted me to this. I was like, oh, this looks interesting, you know. So I looked inside, and uh, sure enough, it's probably worth about between 40 and $50. Another really great find I got was this Bonded Leather Holy Bible. And this one, it says, The New Living Translation, Red Letter. And basically, this thing is, like, basically new. Uh, it doesn't even look like it's been used, which is excellent because it should be worth about um, somewhere between 40 and $60. So that's an awesome score for dollar. And um, with some of these Bibles, I'll tell you, you can do really good. Another really great find I got, I couldn't believe this one when I saw it, it's called the Southern Junior League Cookbook. Now, this cookbook, if it was in better condition, it could go for up to $300 or more. But this one is kind of beat up, it's got uh, a little bit of water damage in there. So, unfortunately, I'm probably only going to get $50 for it. But that's still a really good profit, especially all things considered, I paid a dollar for it. It's called Danger in the Sea by Alec Fraser Bunner. And this book is just really weird. Uh, actually, one of the things I noticed in it that I thought was especially interesting was this thing called the Great Oarfish. And uh, in here it says, it says the Great Oarfish may be the kind of creature behind the myth of the sea serpent. So uh, really, it's really just weird. This book is just full of all this weird sea life stuff. And this book, I should be able to get about uh, $30 to $50 for it. So that's awesome. Another one I got that I thought was really interesting was uh, the Encyclopedia of Modern Railroads. And this book is like basically like new. You can see it's really shiny. Uh, for this one, it's just, you know, it's got all the really good details that people who are really into model railroads would be interested in. And, of course, since it's like new condition, basically, perfect, um, it'll get some really good profit. I think I could probably get at least $35 out of it. And the last book I want to show you guys, um, you know, not bad at all for a, for a simple paperback. But here's one that's in really good condition. Halfway up the mountain, the error of premature claims of enlightenment, and um, certainly an interesting topic. But this one I should be able to get at least 40, uh, maybe even up to 50. We'll see. Uh, that might be a stretch, but still, 
only a dollar for this book. Excellent profit. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're watching this video for the first time and you're not already subscribed, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can get more tips, tricks, haul videos, and learn how to buy and sell and make money on eBay and Amazon.